fashion, beauty, and lifestyle videos. Today's video, I will be sharing my a luxury perfume collection. So if that's something that you're interested in, please continue watching. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share because I'd love for you to come back. Okay, so let's get into the video. All right guys, so we're gonna get right into my perfume collection. And it's a very small collection in my opinion, um, but I do wanna get started first with the travel size items. So this scent in particular, I found out from watching a perfume collection video right here on YouTube. I think her name is Bella B, I could be wrong. Uh, but she was sharing her perfume collection and she said that her mom and herself because she had a, a bottle of it i think she said it's the dupe of baccarat rouge i could be wrong but this one is more affordable i did not want to like buy the bigger bottle of this first i like to sample or get like a travel size item before i decide or commit on a full size bottle of fragrance but this definitely i will be purchasing like i haven't used that much but it smells so good it definitely gives me luxury vibes and i will put the notes of all the fragrances on the screen if i can find them i can't say that this lasts long but it does smell very luxe and when i wear it i feel very expensive and it gives me like rich B vibes okay like by the end of this video i'll have a headache because i'm going to be wearing all of these fragrances but yeah it smells really nice but like i said I, it doesn't last very long and i think you can get this at zara for five or six dollars really good though so i take this in my bags i change depending on which bag i'm wearing i'll just have this in there in the event that i forget <laughs> to wear perfume or if i want to like freshen up a little bit i'll have something in my bag to use now the next item or the next fragrance that i've been trying to use up because to be quite honest it's i'm not a fan of it when i first tried this i i got a sample from sephora that's when they were giving samples out and i really liked it at the time but now i don't know if my my chemistry changed or anything but I decided I'm, I'm happy that I didn't purchase the bigger bottle I'm happy I went with the travel size because I don't know it's not giving me what I want from it but this scent does last though so that's a really good thing about the Gucci fragrances I will however get the bigger bottle in the Gucci blue I really love that scent that lasts really long and it, it, it gives me that lux vibes that I, I like for the month of February I am doing like whole self-care and self-love and to me when you smell good when you go out after you've put your look together like a fragrance definitely tops it off like it really gives you that extra energy that you need to like <laughs> conquer the world basically and I feel like when you smell good you you do amazing things and I really love to add fragrances and special scents to add to my energy you know like it really gives you a really good vibe when you have that particular scent for the look that you're wearing you get me so, so those are the two scents that I take around with me when I am out on a run or if I like I said forget to wear a fragrance then I always would have one of those in either of the bag that I decide to wear so in total I have six full-size luxury fragrances and I have two like travel size like almost like a miniature version of the fragrance so I'm gonna go into the miniature size first and then we're gonna get into the big stuff okay the first miniature is this one from Giorgio Omani and Giorgio Armani and it's the fragrance my way now this is a miniature size guys I'm gonna I'm definitely gonna um, repurchase the bigger bottle for this because it smells so good it has like a fruity yet sultry scent to it I really really like it it's just it's just the right of it's the right amount of sweet like it's not too much and it's not like 
it's just a really good scent i am absolutely in love with it i'll put the notes up there um because i'm not really good with remembering the notes i actually like wearing this like at night <laughs> so like whenever i i keep my fragrances in my bathroom because I just like wearing scents after like I shower or like if I'm getting ready I like them to be like in my hands reach I like wearing this at night especially like right before bed it's just like that like I said it's like a sultry scent so it's it gives me all the sensual vibes you know especially when you're getting ready to like cuddle with the bae <laughs> it's a perfect scent to have and I really like it I didn't pay for this though. I got it as like a like a gift, as a gift with a purchase I made in December. And then the next scent that I got, this was actually my very first luxury purchase ever. And I think I was like maybe, I don't know, 17, 18 when I bought my first bottle of this. I bought the bigger size though. And it's the Dior J'adore fragrance. <sighs> This fragrance lasts like forever. It definitely lingers. This almost looks like, okay, so for this bottle, it looks like a gel. I don't know, you see how thick that looks? It's weird. So this, as you can see, I don't wear it as much, but there are those moments when I'm feeling very extra. It gives you the right amount of lux and that's what I'm here for. I don't remember what I paid for that, but I will try to also put the prices up. And actually, I will link as much of these fragrances as I can below for you guys. If you're interested in any of them, the links will be below. So check those out. Okay, so my absolute favorite fragrance, and that's the Eva Saint Laurent Mon Paris. I absolutely love it. I've purchased this perfume like maybe three or four times over. And it's just like, this is my scent. It's, it's, every time I spray it, like me and my husband's very first like trip as a couple, we went to Puerto Rico and I got the sample size of that there. And like every time I spray it, like it does, it just reminds me of that trip. And that's one of the good things about fragrances. They actually... It's almost like they capture memories for you so like you could actually remember where you were at a particular time when you spray a perfume I think like it's just amazing to me and this scent is just oh I love it so much and I will wear this in the daytime at nighttime afternoon i'll wear this anytime like it's just a perfect scent i actually don't get like a floral scent to it but it's very fresh and i love that like my absolute favorite scents are like fresh sultry but a little sweet and this does it this really does it and the packaging of course is just like perfection i love the little bowl with the little gold detail on it and it's just everything the next scent, I got this as a gift from Hubby, not last, not 2020, but in 2019. I've been on the hunt. I was like, I need to get me like a Chanel fragrance in my collection. And I tried just about all of them and they wasn't popping. Like they really, they really wasn't popping for me. And I decided that I would, oh, actually, it wasn't popping. The only one that I had actually, actually liked and was considering buying was the Coco Noir. I think that's how you say it. It's like in a black bottle. I really love the packaging of that. And that was the scent I was going to get. And I probably still will. But like in the, the smaller size. And anyways, let's get into the perfume. So like... My husband got this fragrance for me and it was a surprise, but I think when he got this, this was like a new release and it's just everything. And it's the Gabrielle Chanel fragrance. If you're a fan of Chanel fragrances, let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite. I've sampled quite a lot and this, this one is like at my top, the top of my list with respect to the Chanel fragrances. I just, is light but to me it lasts and it doesn't have that like mature scent to me 
it gives me just the right amount amount of um, I want to say bergamot is in it but I could be wrong but to me it doesn't last long on your skin but on your, like your clothes this definitely lasts and I need to use it more actually it has that Chanel like detail at the top it's just everything I really like this this scent and you know when you're when your partner knows exactly what you like you you don't expect anything less from them so they always come comes through with the gifts like I really love it if I had to choose a brand like one brand <laughs> for scents it would be Yves Saint Laurent I've I've owned like maybe three different um, fragrances from them so we're gonna get into this one but the one that I had before this in addition to the uh, one Paris is the oh my god I forgot the name wow I'll pop it up on the screen so you or pop a picture up so you know what I'm talking about but I know it it's like right on the tip of my tongue and I can't remember what it is now I'm not a fan of the packaging for that one but I absolutely love the scent if I do purchase again it wouldn't be the full size I would definitely get like a travel size uh, but that scent is like divine that lasts like forever but this new one like I got a, uh, a sample size of this I think it was from Sephora and when I tell you as soon as I got the, the sample I was like yes this is definitely going on my fragrance list and I'm gonna buy it so I got this for my birthday uh, in 2020 I know I didn't need the smaller size I got I think this is the largest size I could be wrong but this is the Saint Laurent Libre I think that's how you say Libre Libre it's the or is it me and guys you definitely smell rich with this like I'm about to spray some on oh it's just it's a very strong scent to me on me I'm here for the packaging like a lot of my fragrances that I own have like gold black white details in it because that's just the packaging I like let me know in the comments if you're particular with like the fragrance bottle design like because I am <laughs> so I want to try the intense fragrance to this one it's a lot darker I think that's more like for nighttime all right, and the newest to my collection is the Tom Ford Solil Blanc. I think that's how you say it, but this is vacation in a bottle. It has like a coconutty. I really like it. Like, it gives me all the vibes that I need. Like, this is definitely a travel scent, I would say, or for the summer. When I spray, I just I just get tropical vibes like it, it puts me in the mind of like a vacation somewhere it smells divine I love it it's like the best I will definitely I mean I haven't put a dent in this yet it's still like in the packaging I kind of like having it in the box like this it just gives like a very elite special look <laughs> on my little uh, vanity but I love it it's in the 30 mil and it's just perfection all right so my very last item is actually not luxury but it gives me luxury vibes it's another zara fragrance and it's the femme fragrance i wear this mostly at night to be honest or if i'm just lounging around the house and i want to feel a little bit extra special or you know fancy then I would definitely spray this on my body. It has like a musk to it, which I don't mind. I feel like musk scent um, works well with my chemistry, so I don't mind that. I got this size, the 100 mil, and like I said, I wear it mostly at night, but like I said, if I, I'm feeling fancy around the house, then I would spray this on me, and I really love it. I think I purchased this, I purchased this from Zara for $19. I probably could have gotten away with 
the travel size, like the smaller size. And this was a blind buy, like no one told me about this. I was like, hmm, let me try this and see how it goes. So I actually do like it, but I would have preferred to get the smaller size, that way I could try more. I kind of have this thing where like, whenever a fragrance is finished, that's when I get another fragrance. So before I get that fragrance that's on my luxury wish list for 2021, the uh, gentle fluidity like I have to finish one of these bottles so that's just something I do like it's like a one in one out type of situation unless it's like a travel side then I will get it but I kind of feel like I need to finish a bottle before I get another perfume I like to keep it like at a minimum of like maybe six or seven fragrances like full-size bottles so that's why we're at six so I can actually add that gentle fluidity and just complete my fragrance for the year if that makes sense that's just what I do that is all of my scents guys all of my scents usually when I go looking for a fragrance or a new fragrance to add to my collection I always look for like that RV energy like you know like that rich auntie vibes type of a uh, scent like I need it to make me feel like I can conquer the world like I can do all the things so those fragrances these fragrances are very special to me and let me know what is your favorite scent to wear like you guys know what my favorite is my favorite is the Yves Saint Laurent Mont Paris so that's my favorite scent let me know in the comments what your favorite scent is I would like to see if we have any similarities in scents and all that goodness so yeah if you made it this far thank you so much for watching and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share if you like the content, of course. And continue to be your beautiful self. And I'll see you in the next one.